Hey guys, the Secret Geek here. Um, today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to, if you have an HTC Incredible, and you want to uh, fix the Bluetooth, uh, for there's various reasons to do this, you know, uh, some people sync up their phones with their cars and stuff. I personally wanted to do this so I could play ROMs and stuff with the Wii Remote, but... HTC, when they released uh, Android 2.2, didn't put in the full Bluetooth or something. I, I was reading about it on the internet. So, there's, there's really only one way to fix this, and it requires you to root your phone, which a lot of people really don't want to do because there's a few risks involved. But if you follow um, this, one, this one program for any HTC phone called Unrevoked, um, all you have to do is you click on your phone, so I'll click on the Droid Incredible, and then it asks you if you want the painless root and reflash or um, a, a root forever. And now you're going to want to do the top one. And then it uh, senses your OS, so I'm on a PC, so it says Windows, but there's also Linux and Mac. Now to do it for Windows, you have to download a special uh, driver, a USB driver for your phone, and do all sorts of crazy stuff. But I'll put a link to a guide and the the install drivers uh, in the description. So once once you root your phone, see I have, my phone's already rooted. You download a program from the market called ROM Manager. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to focus. All right. So you click on Wrong Manager, and then you click on Download ROM. And there's all these ROMs. I don't know about the other ROMs, but I know that the top one, Cyanogen Mod, um, a developer was able to implement a full version of the Bluetooth um, on the Droid Incredible. So, click on the Cyanogen Mod. And then, click on the most recent stable one. There are these two above it, but those are release candidates and they're not uh, necessarily uh, perfected or stable yet. So, the most recent stable one is CyanogenMod 6.1. So, I'll click on that. And it'll ask me if I want to download. That button says download and cancel. So, I'll click download. And then, they have to ask you this, and you need to say yes, but it asks you if you want the Google Apps on the ROM add-ons. So say yes. And then it'll say your download has started. Now what you want to do is you want to you want to back up the existing existing ROM so that if you go back to the regular HTC sense, it'll be all there. And then wipe data and cache. And you click okay. It'll say press OK to re reboot into clockwork mod recovery and continue this installation. So you say yes. And so now this part takes a little while. So it goes to the HTC Incredible Boot logo. Now this is a thing of code. It's just backing up the boot image recovery image system data and data data. And this takes a little while, so I'll see you back when I get to the end. Alright, so now now it's done loading. And every time you open this ROM, uh, you have to set everything up. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip this for now. And then set up an account later. Okay, so here's Cyanogen Mod. So, once you have this ROM loaded, your Bluetooth is now capable of doing the Bluetooth things that any other phone can do. So, what you gotta do now, let me see if I already have it, oops. I don't, okay. So what you gotta do now is go to the market, 
Oh, wait, it's got to have me sign into a Google account. Okay, one second. Okay, so now that I'm signed in and we're at the market, you got to accept the terms of service again. Dang it. Okay, so now you're at the Android market. So you go to the search bar and search We Controller. And it should be this one Wiimote Controller. It's by CCP Cree at sign Ions. So, install it. Okay, so now that you have the app and you open it up, um, it says important. You need to enable the Wii Controller IME in language and keyboard. So you click yes. It'll take you to the settings and you just click Wii Controller IME and then click OK. And then go back. And then what you have to do is you have to go to settings wireless net in networks and turn on Bluetooth. So it's turning on Bluetooth right now. Okay. Then once the Bluetooth is on, you go back into the app and click in it well first you click one and two on your Wii remote and then click in it and connect. And now it's searching. It says found one re remote connecting setting LEDs and see now it's saying that I'm a first player now it's pulling button data so this is how you check to see if it's really connected so I'm gonna press the A button and it said press button WM1 greater than zero then I press B more stuff pops up so now I'm sure that it's connected and then then I go to two select Wii controller IME and then once you get there, it asks you if you want to use Android keyboard or Wii Controller IME. So I chose the Wii Controller IME. Now you can use your Wii Controller to control your phone. Look, say I open up Clock. I can exit out by pressing the B button. Look, it's out. I can go to Music. There's all my music. I can scroll the music by pressing the down button. You see that? I'm not touching the phone. And again, I can back out by pressing B. So see, it's quite it's quite quite useful, and especially when you have ROMs and are playing games because it gets kind of annoying to use the touchscreen keys on the phone to try and control your character. So, having hardware is a lot better. So I hope you guys like this guide on how to unlock the Bluetooth on your Droid Incredible. And as always guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe.